Alléluia. 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 Good morning. Welcome to Saturday, April 30, 2022, the last day of the month. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. The topic for all this morning is how often do you eat? How often do you eat? Our memory first and we find in the book of Ecclesiastes 10 verse 16. Woe to thee, O land, when the king is a child and the princess eat in the morning. One major characteristic of children is that they are always on looking out for food. When you put something in their hand of a baby, the next thing he or she will do is to put it in her mouth. Food is a significant part of the daily activities. If food is becoming the topmost priority to you to the extent that is the first thing you think of every day, you are likely to an immature leader who follow was a doom. As we see in our memory fast today, for such people, whatever is placed in their care is seriously endangered. According to the first king, 17, second to 6, God personally took responsibility for Elijah feeding and only serving twice daily. This implied that God's standard for eating, especially for adults, is twice a day. I remember the day I shared this message with some pastors. Many of them did not like my Bible study of that day because they were used to concept of three square me a day. In addition to this, many people still have the habit of snacking just when they are about to sleep. This is not good for you at all. Especially if you are able or you are able to be in charge of important things, including your destiny. As an adult, it is advisable that you not only eat twice a day. That is what the Lord who made your body recommended. Eat twice a day. As a matter of fact, those who are really serious about their destiny don't eat every day. Paul, the apostle, said in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 27, that he fasted often. No wonder he fulfilled destiny. 2 Timothy 4, 7-8 I am 80 years old now, and I don't eat every day. I still fat often because I want to finish my course. I want to fulfill my destiny before I leave this world. In 1984, I was only 40 days fasting, lying weak on my prayer mat. When someone came in, saw me and asked me, what else are you looking for in life that is making you fast this much? That was 38 years ago. What I had achieved or what I have achieved then that someone would advise me to stop fasting? Look how far I have come since then. I'm sure it is clear that I made a good choice by ignoring is clear and I make it by ignoring the fellow. What have you achieved so far? 
are you satisfied with it? You should only eat every day when you are no longer striving for anything more than you have already. Our prayer point for today. Father, please don't let my belly hinder me from fulfilling my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the good Lord give us the strength to hold on in Jesus' name. Till I come your way tomorrow, have a nice weekend and God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.